looks at. guys it's Anna welcome back to my channel um so today I filmed this everyday makeup tutorial I didn't really know this is what I was gonna do I was just kind of playing around but it it ended up being this cool toned eye and brown lip so if you want to see how I got this keep on watching so I've already moisturized my skin with the Pond's dry skin cream and when you moisturize your face, make sure you put it on your neck too. So that helps prevent aging so you won't get that like goozle, saggy neck looking thing. And I also primed with my Smashbox Primer Water. Again. And now I'm going to prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. You just need a little bit, and it will lock it, the eyeshadow in there so it won't crease, because nobody wants creasy looking eyeshadow, because some people have oily eyelids, and it'll like break apart, and this helps with that too, and then I'm going to prime my skin with Benefits Pore Professional, and I've actually never used this before, but everyone here on YouTube talks about it um, and says it does a really good job of like filling in your pore, pores, pores and just blurring everything out so I'm gonna try this if I can get it open there we go oh it's tinted now I'm just gonna pat that in on my pores And it does feel silicone-y, so if you don't like that, you probably won't like this. Let's see. I don't know, it seems like it sort of filled in the pores. We'll see. Okay, now I'm going to do my eyebrows as usual. So, let me comb them out with my spoolie brush. And let me get my... I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow Pomade in medium brown. And in my last video, I used the NYX one and both of them are great. So, pick up either and I'm sure you'll love both. And I try not to fill in too much so it still looks natural. Because I don't have very full or thick brows anyway. And this you have to be especially careful with even more than the NYX one because this one is so creamy that you can get sharpie looking brows really really quick let's see now i'm just going to set that with the l'oreal brow stylist plumper and i think this is in medium brown 
I'll link everything down below again like I did last time and then I'm going to carve those out with concealer just to make it look a little bit better and I'm using the Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer by NYX in yellow. And you don't have to do this step because I don't think my brows look bad now, but it's easy to correct mistakes. It just makes it look better to me. Just put it all the way around. And see, I already smudged that out, but you can just wipe it off. That's why doing this before foundation is so much easier. Because then if you make mistakes, it's easier to correct without ruining everything. And now I'm just blending that out with my finger. There we go. Mm, they look kind of dark. Brush it out. They look a little bit dark, so I'm going to try to brush some of that out. Because they're a little too dark for my liking, but oh well. And then now is the fun part. I get to do eyeshadow. And I think... I'm going to do a cool toned smoky eye today, or just a cool toned eyeshadow look. We'll see if it ends up smoky, because I never really do that that much. And I want to use this, which is one of my favorite palettes. It's the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. And look, it's so, so pretty. Look at those colors. And they're all matte, so if you like all matte shades, you need to get this. So first, I'm taking this color right here and just putting it all over the lid and the brow bone to set that um, primer so the eyeshadow will blend out better. And now with a blending brush, I'm going to take this color and put it in the crease and above as a transition shade. Gonna put a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take this white shade and put it all over the lid just to brighten up my eye. And then I'm going to take this and put it in the crease and outer V. And partly on the outer part of the lid because I like how that looks. And these eyeshadows are super pigmented and really blendable, so I like that. And I'm just gonna blend that out with the same brush that I used the first transition color on. And 
And then I'm going to take black and deepen that up even more. And yes, it looks a mess right now, but I'm going to blend it so it'll look better. Look how pigmented that black is. Oh my god. Just keep blending that. And then we'll go in with this transition shade again and blend some more at the top. And then we'll go in with that white again just to brighten up the inner corner or the inner third lid. Blend everything out. Hmm. And blend some more. This is so weird for me because I'm used to using warm colors, especially for blending shades. So this is very, very different. I think that looks good. The black and white and almost like mixed gray color. I think that's pretty and simple. So yeah. So we're done with that for now. And now I'm going to put on some eyeliner. And this is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in Black. And I said in my last video, I don't do winged eyeliner that often. So today, this is kind of just how I normally do my eyeliner. And I have my mirror behind the camera. So if I'm like looking off, that's why. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to use this Rimmel Exaggerate Eyeliner, and it's in a nude shade. Let me see. What shade is this in? 213 in the nude. And I'm going to put that on the waterline just to open up my eye a little bit. And I know this looks disgusting, pulling your eye down. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes using this um, Tarte Eyelash Curler. And 
then I'm going to go in with the Tarte's Light Camera Splashes Mascara. I think after I do the rest of my makeup, I might add some more black and make that eyeshadow darker and more of a smoky eye, but we'll see. And now I'm going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara in black as well. We'll do even a little bit more because I like them really, really thick. And I'll wait and do the bottom lashes after I finish the rest of my makeup. Now I'm going to go in with the Tarte and Tarte. Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation, and my shade is, what is the shade, Ivory. I'm just taking about that much on the back of my hand, and I like this because it's in a squeezy tube. Because I hate foundations that don't have a pump, but at least if they're in a squeezy tube, you can control what comes out and don't have to, like, beat it out like the ones that are in a jar. I'm just going to dot that over my face. I think I may have gotten too much. And this is supposed to be full coverage, 12-hour 12 12 hour wear, so we'll see. And to blend that out, I'm using the Eco Tools Domed Bronzer Brush. And this is supposed to be like the Tar Amazonian Clay Foundation Brush. It's supposed to be a dupe, so. And I like it. And it blends it out super fast because it's so big. pretty full coverage. I like it so far. And it blends really, really well. It's kind of thick though, so I probably wouldn't use it with a beauty blender or sponge. But yeah, I really like that. It's very pretty. And next I'm going to go in with like my all-time favorite Holy Grail Concealer, and that's the Urban Decay Naked Skin, and mine is in Fair Neutral, um, and I think that's the lightest shade that they make. And this is so full coverage, but it feels so light, and I love it. I'm just going to put that under my eye, and sort of triangles, like Cupid's bow, 
chin. I already put some on my nose and then my forehead. And that'll just highlight a little bit. And then I'm going to blend that out with the Real Technique sponge. I need to take these bracelets off. They're super loud. Just pat that out. And I'm going to set that with the NYX HD Finishing Powder. And this is in Banana. And I just set mostly just under my eyes so they won't crease because the rest of my face is pretty dry. So it doesn't need to be set with powder. And now I'm going to contour with my Lorac Pro Contour Palette. I'm going to use this Coastal Sense brush with the light contour shade. And make the fishy face. And now I'm going to use my Benefit Dallas blush. And this is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. With my Real Techniques brush. Or this is the Multitask brush. And I'm going to just put that on the apples of my cheeks and sort of over top of that bronzer or contour. And you can see where I kind of messed up and went too low with the contour. Well, the trick is to take the Real Technique sponge or whatever sponge you used for your concealer and just kind of carve that out to make it look like a sharp line. And we'll blend that blush out a little bit. I think I put on too much. Oops. And then comes my favorite part, which is highlighting. And I'm going to use my Becca uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop which was made by Jaclyn Hill here on YouTube, and I love her. So I'm gonna use that with this e.l.f. small tapered brush. I'm just gonna put that on the tops of my cheeks. Above my eyebrows. My forehead. Basically anywhere you want to look glowy is where you put that. 
Look at that, how beautiful that is. Oh, I love highlighter. Like, if I could, I would just put it all over my face and look like a disco ball. I don't even care. I just want to look glowy all the time. And now I can see where I didn't blend out that eyeshadow too well. So I'm going to just go back in and blend it a little bit more. Now I'm going to bring the palette back out and use this white shade to highlight my inner corner and brow bone. I guess this isn't a smoky tutorial. This is more like in what I would wear every day. This is probably smoky for some people, but not for me. I like to wear a lot. And then finally, I'm going to put on my NYX Liquid Lip Suede in Sandstorm, which is like a brownish nude color. And I didn't line my lips, but you can because that makes putting this on much easier. I'm going to set my face with this Maybelline Master Fix Face by Face Studio um, Wear Boosting Setting Spray. I'm just going to spray that. And yeah, this is the finished look. This is very different. For me, I don't really wear brown lips or really cool toned eyes. But this is like, this would be more like an everyday look for me. And I actually really like it. I might have to start wearing this. So I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to leave me comments and subscribe and um, like this video if you enjoyed it. So thanks. See you in my next video. Bye.